So in today's video, we're gonna look a little bit around who can use your charger. Now, who can use your charger seems like a bit of a loaded question. At the end of the day, you can use your charger. Anyone you approve should be able to use your charger, but there's a few different ways to set things up. Features that have come out on the market since the introduction of EV charging at home that really change the perspective of what you can do and how you can utilize your chargers. So what we're gonna look at is standard settings, so standard configurations and setup and accessibility for the unit. And then on top of that, we're gonna look at some of the newer features around newer backends that maybe advertise your charger to the public and ways you can monetize it. So standard features and settings in terms of being able to access and utilize your charger, really you've got historical done modes, so things like plug and charge and RFID usage basically. So those are kind of standalone, they don't need any connectivity. Most modern chargers now are under smart feature regulations defined by the government or alternatively to offer extra features to you, the user, are connected either by Wi-Fi, 4G or a local area connection directly to your router. Now, what that enables if you have the app is significantly greater control over who can access it. However, if you're on one of the legacy platforms such as Plug and Charge or Plug and Go, or RFID usage, those really do limit it to either complete open access if you're on plug and go, which means that anyone coming up to use your charger can utilize it, they can get power out, there's no authentication from your side at all. RFID usage for chargers that have it, and they aren't as common in the market, not every charger has RFID built in, so it's worth looking at that if it's something that might be useful to you. They will actually require you to tap a card that comes with the charger or is registered to the charger after you take ownership. And that's gonna allow you to actually charge and authenticate it. So you could leave them at home if you've got people coming over. If you're leaving for guests uh, or alternatively, if you rent the property out, you can leave one of these RFID cards and they can charge whenever they turn up and just tap it to the charger. Third one, and this is the app mode. So this is smart connected and not all chargers have this capability, but more and more do. And even older chargers that have been stored for a while are starting to bring this in with firmware updates over the air that allow your charger to be updated. And this is where you can set essentially an authentication or authorization that allows you or requires you to approve a charging session either for yourself or for users. Now one of the key questions we get asked, and this is biased slightly towards our chargers, but is uniform across a lot of chargers on the market, is if I've got someone coming over and I've got that charger set up, is it locked to my car? And the answer is no. So you lock to you as a user, unless you're using specific backends that have a vehicle to charger connection, or you have a special tariff that's set up in your charger that's locked to your vehicle. Uh, there's no reason at all why you can't plug and charge someone else's car as long as you authorize it on the app. Now they may not get that charging data because it's locked to you and you might not want to get them access or set up their own account, but they will be able to charge at your house. Now if we were looking some of the different backends and the different access options that are available to you. You can also set guest users, some of the more complicated or more advanced backends will allow you to actually monetize your charger. That means that when you're not using it, when you're away, and if you want someone on your driveway charging, you can actually set it up to be publicly advertised. So companies like Monter offer this, that allow you to then have your charger on a public map, you can set tariff rates, so free for yourself, free for your friends or anyone that has access. Uh, and then you can set the charging rate for other people that want to come up and park on your driveway, utilize your charger, and you can make money off that charger. It's worth checking Monter out. They're a great platform, great team, and you can go and find a lot more about how you can make money off your charger. But also, it's a great little back end for running home chargers in and of itself. So in terms of utilizing your charger, that's it really. If it's open and it's dumb, then basically anyone can use it. It's got RFID enabled, then anyone with the card can use it. And if it's got app enabled and it's got the authorization features, it's actually gonna allow you to configure and set who can access it. You'll probably be able to approve through the app on our chargers if you're authorized for uh, approval on the app. You can also use the RFID or you can tap on the app to confirm the charge. And that's it basically. Those are the people that can use your charger and normally it's anyone you decide unless it's completely open.